Oh, hey, family. Back with another brief video. In today's video, we want to know what you would do. Bagger Studio scene answer in the comments section. Take one. pump off because of the water tanks overfilling and stuff i will and we'll just uh leave you with sweet juicy mama then we'll come back but anyway guys we thought um we share a, a brief video with you today and uh <clears throat> on our way here to uh black acres of the gambia uh, uh incident happened and as a result of this incident i said hey let's let's do a video on this topic so so here's the scenario that happened um, we um, had to walk another person or a contractor up out of here because they weren't performing. And uh, you, you st stay tuned for the next video mm -hmm. on that. We'll, we'll discuss that more in detail. But at any rate, uh, the new contractor that was bringing out here um, to finish the fence, mm -hmm. he, re he declined to come and start today. The scenario was Gambia has received bags and tons and tons of rice from Egg. eggs, cooking oil from the enemy. And so this guy opted to go and get his bag of rice with oils and whatever else he got out the deal. And so I asked my son Harmon, I said, Harmon, was that a good deal for him to go and get the rice and cook it all. He said, yes, that was a good deal. And so I'm always trying to educate my sons and people that are in my sphere of influence. Mm -hmm. I said, Harmon, that's not a good idea. He has rice for a day or a month or perhaps a year. He took that option versus coming out here making a substantial amount of money and buying rice when he wanted for the rest of his life. And so I, I, you have to compare the different options. And so I want to ask you, what would you do if you was in that scenario? Would mm -hmm. you opt to go get the uh, bag of rice with the cooking oil, or would you opt for stable employment where you're making a substantial amount of money and you can buy anything that you please? That's what I want to know, guys. Please answer that in the comment section below. What if he's not the guy then? Yeah, exactly. What if he's not? That's right. Can't, per That's right. can't perform. Exactly right, guys. So we just want to ask you a series of questions of what you would do. Mm -hmm. What would you do? What would you do if America denounces or revoke your passport? Would you agree with it? Fight for it? What would you do? That's what I'd like to know too. Mm -hmm. What would you do mm -hmm. if you've left the comfort and confines and the murderous culture of America mm -hmm. and came over here and ran out of money? Yep. What would you do? Exactly. Would you try to sell the shoes, the socks, the shirt off your back? the tools you brought over? Would you try to uh, go out and find fruits and vegetables that's in abundance over here? Would you beg people back in America to help you and knowing that they're gonna say, well, you know, we told you not to go over there in the first place. You shouldn't have went, you should have stayed right here and been scared <laughs> as heck with us. So anyway, I hope, hey, 
what would you do? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now that's a good one, sweet daddy. But what would you do if you had to depend on your currently government? What would you do? That's right. Do you just sit there and accept what they give you? Or do you say, hey, I can't do this. This is not enough. I'm going to go out, make more. Or would you just figure out how to get away from the situation? What would you do? Uh, what would you do if you had three boys, four girls <laughs> that you try to set up to inherit all your wealth? One. <laughs> and not one decided they wanted to follow in your footsteps. They rather work for Uncle Charlie, Mr. Bobo, Cisco, uh, anybody else except for who's leaving them some wealth. What would you do? I have one. <laughs> what would you do if your currently orange Trump president is reelected? What would you do? Wow, now that was a good one. That's me, mama. And I'm gonna piggyback off of that one. <laughs> what would you do if that other guy uh, <laughs> won? I don't remember his name, but he was the vice president of that 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 black dude. I can't remember his name either. But what would you do if the other guy won? <laughs> would you stay there or? Do what else? I mean, you just tell me what you would do in the comment section. One, one other thing is, if you you finally over here or anywhere on the uh, continent, what would you do if the current the place that you're at is not what you thought it would be? Mm -hmm. Do you leave? Do you wait it out, or do you go to another? place on the continent or do you just go visit a European place mm -hmm. what would you do exactly now what would you do if you want to come to Africa but your wife said no or your youngest child said hey I want to go to prom or I'm a miss I'm a I'm a miss prom well I no longer can be a cheerleader I here. can no longer be a cheerleader <laughs> or I want to stay here and have some fun. What would you do as a parent? What mm -hmm. would you do? That's what I just want to know, guys. If you found out that you, when you bought land, wherever it is in the world, it could be on the continent, wherever, and you found out that you really wasn't the owner, what would you do? Wow, that's a good one, sweet mom. Do you go on a crazy rampage, chop somebody up, or fight it, what would you do? What would you do if you just recently started a YouTube channel mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it just started exploding? Mm -hmm. I'm talking like four or 500 subscribers a night. And I know that's not much to some of you guys out there in YouTube land, but for us, you know, just getting started and stuff, we knew it was gonna grow, but not at the accelerated rate that it's doing right now. And so we just want to know what would you do if your YouTube business was just exploding? I mean, just exploding. You know, we hit 10,000 mm -hmm. um, last month. That was the goal. Wow. And we like doubling. Exactly. And so we back. just started this month. And mark your calendar, guys. Circle this date. Right now, it seems like we'll be at 25,000 subscribers at the end of this month. The way the numbers are trickling in so and they're moving guys so 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 thanks to you guys thanks to you guys and we appreciate it so we just want to know what would you do enjoy the ride try to keep keep on try to answer as many people as possible without them saying hey you know guys hey you forgot about us no we forgot about you we just want to know what, what would, would you, you do? do what would you do wherever you are in the world government cuts your internet services wow. but everybody else is still on mm -hmm. what would you do i want to know what would you do if you felt a burning desire ain't your heart on this side or is it on this side somewhere there okay what would you do if your heart somewhere in this place right here 
felt the overwhelming desire to help your fellow man. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, you got slapped left and right. You got stabbed in the back. Yes. You got all this vulgar and back stabbing, talking, all that kind of stuff behind your back, guys. What would you do if you tried to uh, give your uh, heart to the world and it was full of backstabbers, you know, mm -hmm. backstabbers? What would do you, you do, guys? Do you give up? Do you give up? Keep going. What do you think? What would you do? Yeah, you go in your little shell and say, like a little turtle, and say, hey, everything outside of this shell, stay out there. Finish. Inside, yeah. So we want to know what you would do, guys. Mm -hmm. What would you do if the flights was open today? What would you do? Go one, sweet mama. Yes. What would you do? Would you say, "Hey, I'm out of here"? Mm -hmm. Or would you say, "This is what I think the majority is going to say"? Uh, I'll do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. The ones that say, "Man, as soon as it's open, I'm out of here." Mm -hmm. I think some are going to say, "Not all." Some are going to say, "Well." I could do that tomorrow, or I could do it next week, or, you know, excuses are useless, guys. Exactly. So, what would you do? Please write it in the comment section below. What would you do? I have another one. <laughs> what would you do? You found out there's no more stimulus. Ah. Period. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Right. Now, I hear a lot of comments now, guys. Now, we're uh, almost done with the security house mm -hmm. where we have outdoor toilets and stuff. So what would you do if you were out here bag, <laughs> having your own tour, and you felt the overwhelming desire to defecate? Oh my would you run and find the nearest tree? Or would you try to hold it and say, hey, I'm about to run into town, which is C4, mm. and find a public toilet. Are there public toilets in C4? Yes, some of them, but I... Where's the public toilet? Oh, in the public? Uh, I just you gotta said. go to Brickama. So, <laughs> how long, how far Rikama's away is that? about maybe, maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes? 15. So you gotta, if Try you had an overwhelming minutes. desire to do number two, you say... I'm knocking on a Gambian's door. You gonna knock on somebody's door, huh? Yes, I am. If I had to do that that way. Yes, I am. Why you you and I know. No! Come on, baby. That's you. I, I'm Y'all know I keep it real. That's him, so not me. I got my little, not Cynthia. whatever, I got my little spot out here and stuff, and people pass it on a regular basis and don't oh even know nothing God. and stuff. So it, I okay, keep whatever, it real. Okay, whatever, whatever. What would you do, family? Let us know what you would do in the comment section below. He just told you what he, he's going to do. I keep it real. Okay. I keep it real, sweet mama. Whatever. <laughs> what, did I say this? What would you do if all you had to depend on now, since what's going on in the world is your government? If you had to depend on your government to survive, what would you do? This stuff's a good one, sweet mama. What would you do if you had to get up every morning, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever, go to a job where you hate, hate most of the people, Hate your supervisor, hate the work you're doing, hate the pay that you're getting, hate the benefits, hate, 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 hate. <laughs> but you got to do it again and again and again for the next 40 to 50 years of your life. And then at the age of 65, wind up dead, disabled, broke, dependent on the government. What would you do? What's going on right now? Everybody locked down. What would you do if you never get out wherever you're at right now? You can't get out. What would you do? Mm -hmm. How would you get out? Right. Now, this piggybacks off of what I just said. But what would you do, man? And soon to be men and young men. Mm -hmm. If you have a beautiful wife like I have, and you felt the inability to properly protect them and provide for them, guys. What would you do? Don't take the don't take the coward's way out and commit suicide or try to run away or say, hey, I'm gonna get another woman that's less um uh, um uh, demanding. She don't care if I have a job or not. I can lay right here and I'm good. 
You know, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm good. What would you do? I say. Excuse me. Keep it going, guys. I'll be right back. All right. I say get up off your knees. Make your backbone straight. Make your shoulders straight. Stand tall and say, I'm going to do it. Whatever it takes, I'm going to do it. I know the whole, uh, it's a good thing to land. It's kind of like, kind of big, guys. I can scream just like that. And police ain't coming to try Sorry to shoot me and back. stuff like that. So and We're not close to neighbors. Right. We're, th that was the goal. <laughs> we can scream and make much noise as possible. Watch this. I don't like police. I hate police. Come here, police. Come on. I got some for you. Come on. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? That's what I thought. <laughs> All right, then. I own this. Okay. All right, guys. Y'all go back to work. <laughs> they think he's crazy. They're huh? like Rick don't snap. But anyway, what would you do? What would you do if you have a, a, a neighbor just like Rick? Just like me. You, what? Yelling out, police. <laughs> what would you do? All right. All right. No, but, I'm just joking. But yeah, what would you do? All right. But I think we need to wrap this one up, sweet mama. Mm -hmm. Because we got a lot of uh, things to do, and, and I know our subscribers mm -hmm. are kind of upset. But I just want to ask probably you. Probably upset now. Well, I just want to ask you, what would you do? Because we're about to end this video. Mm -hmm. Let yes. us know in the Dang comment yes, section so. below. We love to spend a whole day with you guys and talk and have food and share meals with mm -hmm. you. Oh, let me hit you with one more. What would you do mm -hmm. if you won? The seven day and seven night rifle draw, raffle draw with Black Acres of the Game. You get to stay seven days and seven nights and all meals covered. What would you do when, we, when James Mack pulled that, knock, pulled that uh, name out the box and says, You are the lucky winner? Tell them what, what that raffle you is. Do? What it's about. All right, the raffle again, guys, is something like, and it, and it goes back to the growth of our um, YouTube page. Mm -hmm. When we hit a thousand, we had a goal. We went and ate at a restaurant. When we hit uh, 5,000, we got some cake. Mm -hmm. Let me go back. With a thousand, you made the cake. <laughs> yes. And so anyway, when we hit 5,000, we went out and ate. Then when we hit 10,000, we had, uh, we were supposed to barbecue out here and invite people in, but that's still uh, uh, pending. So we, we didn't we hit it. it. And so when we hit 20,000, we wanted to invite somebody in for seven days and seven nights. And I just told you a few minutes ago, the numbers right now are projecting us to be at 25,000 subscribers by the end of this month. So the second, the 20,000 uh, mm -hmm. came quick. And we still <laughs> haven't got with, cause I believe that's when we probably do the drone with Mansa. That's right. We, we still haven't did. forgot you. We get ready to go into rainy season now. We still could do it. That yeah. would be perfect. Okay, well, no problem. They would know exactly how it look okay, out here gotcha. when rainy season. And you can say, hey, I think this look nice right here. Mm -hmm. Don't build a hotel. He'll build a hotel mm -hmm. there or something like that. But but anyway, uh, you get to spend seven days and seven nights with us out here. Mm -hmm. We'll have accommodations for you and we'll make sure that you enjoy this life changing and historic making moment. Exactly. Seven days and seven nights with Sweet Juicy Mama, us, and them bad kids we got what here. What would they have to do to get into that raffle? Good point, Sweet Mama. Mm -hmm. All you guys got to do, to uh, for every ticket that's entered in there, it needs to be a $100 increment. So if you put, if you do, if you donate 100 this month, you get one ticket into uh, the box. If you donate another 100, mm -hmm. another goes into the box. Okay, so for every time you donate a hundred dollars, your name goes into the box to be drawn by James Mack at the end of a, a to be determined date because we're waiting for them to open up the world right now and say it's free for y'all to travel again. Okay, only thing you got to do is make sure you can get your passport if they're issuing them. Exactly, okay? did, I, did I explain that right Appreciate this time, you. sweet mama? Mm -hmm. All right, now one more what would you do? If you knew what Rick and I would do after this. Wow. Good point.
points with your mom. Good point. What would you do All if right. we told you what we're going to do? That's right. Mm -hmm. Like we did mm -hmm. 2016. That's right. June 2nd. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. We kept moving. That's right, guys. You don't give up. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We do not give up. I mean, you we see never give up. vehicles are basically catching flat tires and breaking down every day. And, you know, we want to say, hey, hey, man, what's going on? You know, we smile and we just keep, keep, keeping on and stuff. Mm -hmm. D-train and stuff. Just you know take a break. Just take a break. Restart your engine. Smile about it. Yep. You will make it. Yep. And a famous brother once said, it doesn't matter what happened to us. Mm -hmm. What matters is what we do about it or what we do about what happens to us and what happens to us we don't go into a pity party mm -hmm. we don't we don't we don't get on our knees and pray to somebody we don't know about you know it's directed yes we keep pushing forward guys and yes. that's how we're able to accomplish much in our life with much more to come down the road we don't stop and say oh there's an obstacle yes you know everything that has has happened to us in our life We've dealt with it and kept pushing forward. And one thing, if you don't know about us watching all of those videos coming from us, right? We are not a follower. That's right. It's something we do not do. That's right. We tend to lead. That's right. That's what we try and lead. Ain't no try. Yeah, we lead. You. Yeah, we don't try. No more try. Mm -hmm. We lead, and that's what Rick and I do. That's right. That's right. All right, guys. So, uh, sweet mama, you got any closing comments? So anyway, uh, all right, guys. If you if you like the video, guys, give us a thumbs up. Come on, sweet mommy. Come on, this is new. All right, guys. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That's new. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, drop a comment. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, give us a like, share the video with a friend, mm -hmm. and please subscribe, 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 guys. So you know how we always end our videos, guys, with love, love peace, peace, soul. Bye, bag family. Bye, bag family. I've got to go to turn it off. Right, until next video, guys. We will All right. see you. Keep the donations coming, guys, and I want you to win. <laughs>